after a stellar 19-2 regular season and ranked number one in Division I entering the playoffs, the Racine Case Eagles are flying high. Sky high. <laughs> it's sky high. We believe in each other, so we know that we're going to have a good time and we're going to go far. And all of this has been done without standout senior Jamika Bowie, who broke her foot during the very first game of the season. I was going to rebound, and I came down and landed kind of awkwardly on my foot. And I actually tried to play another play on it, but then that's when I realized, you know, the pain was pretty much unbearable. When she got injured for the next two weeks, we just thought that, you know, that she was just, it was just going to be a slight injury that was some physical therapy and with our trainer, that she was going to get right back at it. But then once we found out that the foot was broken, then we kind of had to regroup here a little bit. Initially, rest was recommended to try to allow the bone to heal itself. But after a month and a half with seeing no results, Jamika returned to the doctor. I actually went to a, a second doctor to get a second opinion, and that doctor had actually told me that, uh, you know, the month and a half of me trying to let it heal on its own was pretty much a waste of time, that I should have gotten like an operation done from the get. After surgery, two things happened. Jamika's broken foot began to heal, and the Eagles kept on winning. With her gone, we had, no, we all had to step up. We all had to play our role. Like, we didn't have that go-to girl, but then everybody stepped it up, so everybody was really capable. Like, we all were good. Obviously, she was happy that we were finding some success, but again, she is the ultimate athlete, the ultimate basketball player, and like any great athlete that, you know, from anywhere, and especially being one of the top ones in the state of Wisconsin since freshman year, you take a look at your senior year, and that had to be a thing that says, wow, why now? It wasn't until the regular season finale that Jamika was cleared to return to game action, just in time to make a final push to claim that coveted gold ball. There was a sense of excitement because they wanted her as a senior to be a part of this whole experience and, and this success. And I think that that was a huge piece is that they were happy to see her back. They were thrilled to see her back. With her, what will we do? We'll do a lot with her and she's a big and she brings a lot to the team, rebounding, scoring, leadership, everything. So we're much better with her. We honestly feel like the, the sky's the limit. I don't, I mean, honestly, I don't think anyone will stop us but ourselves, it, you know, from, you know, getting the gold ball. So we're all, we're, I don't know, we're all just, you know, clicking on all cylinders. Jamika Bowie of Racine Case is this week's recipient of the Heiser Automotive Anything's Possible Award.